here we have the Suzuki VL125 Intruder twin engine twin pop or V twin I should say. Uh, what we're doing is doing an oil change today. So I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. Two things of note. This cap here, that's your for getting your oil in. And right under here, this bolt here, that's your outlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the oil. Um, before starting up, you just need to warm the engine up for a good 10 minutes to get the uh, oil nice and loose and running free. hear me. Um, so what I'm going to do is firstly get a part that's going to take all the oil that's going to be in there. It's about 1.6 litres of oil in here and so we'll make sure it's not going to go everywhere. You've got to remember the engine is hot and the bulb that I'm undoing is going to be also hot so mind your fingers, use some leather gloves or something like that and make sure you don't do as I did last time which is get oil on it. Right so what I do is I place this under the oil sump take a 17 mil spanner and I just loosen it when you're under the engine like this have the spanner pointing that way and then just pull it towards you and it should loosen there we go we've loosened it and then just let the plug out that's not hot that's just warm now the oil's falling out Let's see have a look. Let's bring it down. Yeah. Let's see the oils flowing. Oh, just enough, just the big enough pot there. So what we do is we're going to leave it for a good five minutes, ten minutes, just to let the oil all drain out. There's not a lot left in there, and uh, make sure you keep this to one side in a safe place. Right back again. Um, your oil should have drained drain from your engine by now. Uh, so what you need to do is pop that to one side. That's pretty full. Let's pop that to one side. To the side. Keep that out of the way. Remember, you can't get rid of that. You've got to uh, usually put it in the original tub. So the engine holds about 1.6 to 1.8 litres of oil. Luckily okay, we've got a guide on the side, let's have a look, I've shown you this before, there should be about two litres in here, so as I said before, make your mark, um, so let's say that's two litres, that's one litre, that's one and a half litres, we're going to be putting about that far in, so we've now made a mark, so I can then take adjustment there and put it at the bottom. So we're looking at having that much left at the bottom once we've done the engine. It doesn't have to be precise, but it does help you just point the camera at me. Are you? It's pointing at here. Is it pointing at here? <laughs> you can't talk to you. Anyway, so first things first, remember this, put it back in your bike. <laughs> because the amount of times I've known people pouring oil into the bike and it's come flushing through the engine. As an engine flush, that's fine, but it flushes through the engine, you're stuck. You've just lost all your oil and it's all over your garden. Anyway, tighten it up nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. Right, so next bit is this bit here. This bit here, you need to undo this. It should be quite, there we go. Now luckily, on here, that's the, uh, put that to one side. Luckily, 
unlike uh, the um, dragster, you can actually see what your oil level's like, so we can work from there. But first of first, first things first, if you don't have a funnel, here's a little tip. Take a cardboard box. Yes, this is a pair of tights, but... Take a cardboard box, open it up. Doesn't have to be neat. Just roll it. This is some kind of funnel. Got to organic clean up the edges. And then just pop. Let's get this right. And here we go. So we've now got somewhere to pour the oil without it going everywhere. It's just a simple thing. Most people can do things like this, so you just do it that way. Right, so what we do, we take... This is um, operating conditions of this particular oil is about minus 10 to, uh, to plus 50. I think it's about plus 50, let's have a look. It doesn't actually say, but um, according to the manual, um, this would be ideal for this time of year. We're getting about minus one, minus two at night. And if you do a lot of evening riding, it's going to get cold. So what we're going to do is, as I said, we're going to that mark there. So we're going to go all the way down until we reach that mark there. So you just pour it in. Lovely. Halfway there now. Maybe there. Let's help you out that last one. A little bit more. Oh, be generous with this one. There we go. A little bit more. Bang on. That's the oil done. Put that to one side. Don't throw that away. There we go, we've got the funnel in. What we do is we then we can throw that away. We've got to keep that to one side for the moment. Tighten that up. And then what you do is you now run your engine, let the oil circulate the engine. 